Aliel Liliwala said, I think either Nairo or Light will win, I believe. Um, and Unu said, I think I definitely think either Nairo or Zachary is taking this. Nairo's always does amaz amazingly, and he seems to be doing very well right now. And IIRC, Zachary uh, often beats Sultan in Japan. And being a fantastic player in Winter's Side of Grand Finals gives him good odds. That's actually a really good point right there, Kotaro. Thank okay. you so much right there, Unusual Outlet. We appreciate you. Um, your boy Carp said Zachary is going to win this. He's super consistent. He's been playing really well. And also that girl, Gracie. Zachary is winning this for sure. And yeah, so on and so forth. A lot of people are looking at Zachary. Pluto uh, Gula says the same legend? thing. He's not 15, right? That, yeah, he's 16. 16 you're, okay. you're close, Pluto. <laughs> uh, Pluto Gulas says, that, yo, Zachary about to take this W, man. 15-year-old legend, etc., etc. We got a lot of people... That are all, for the most part, it looks like y'all all are saying this might be Zachary's time to shine. Thank you for tweeting at us again and letting us know how y'all feel. We, I'll be honest, man, seeing how Zachary's been playing, depending on what happens in here in the Winners Finals, yeah, I might be right. Let's get it. Winners Finals here at Prime Saga happens now with these two on the battlefield. Well, uh, Pokemon Stadium too. That would be nice to see, but keep in mind at the Free Saga, I know it's Free Saga, you know, but I feel like the people are trying. Uh, Shutan was the one that won it, but he won it while being able to Wait, take out MPLA. Wait, let me actually correct myself. Even though I heard Koreans say that Zachary is 16, apparently a lot of people said he's 17. So I apologize for that. I was just going off of what Koreans told me. Oh my goodness! You know what's crazy? That double jab leads into grab. Double jab leading into double jab again, but double dra jab leading into fall off the stage down air. Fantastic by Shutan. Yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like there might be a change of picks coming out from Japan. Yeah, man. Where, you know... Zachary might still be the best player with, with results, but Shutan might be able to overtake him pretty soon. There you go. This guy was one of the best players and almost top 10 player in the world back in Smash 4 with Olimar, too. And Olimar was nowhere near as good as he is in this game. Yeah, dude. And there's the down smash. Such a scary option near the edge. Normal get up, a two frame threat. It's, it, it, it just does so well. Even when it comes to tech chases, too, you have to watch the way you tech, especially after a knockdown against this character. It is right now. Zachary holding down the edge. Let's see the ledge traps. Okay. Right now, using the Olimar. Doesn't quite care about them. He says they're expendable as he tosses them into the blasters. Oh. What? Oh. That is wild. Yeah. He keeps seeing that now. He knows the percents. Like, yeah, he must have been practicing that because that's not something he was doing before. And but he, now? And he holds down too when he side beats Katara. That's not wild. to cut you off. I'm sorry, dog. No, you're good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, looking for that up smash. I had a feeling it would come out, especially because Olimar, or Shutan's Olimar, likes to approach from above a lot of times to get out of sticky situations. Yeah. And another up smash. Ooh, okay. There it goes. Let's be very careful, especially at this percent. Mm -hmm. That blue Pikmin that's on him could come off and be able to get that grab to up throw, especially with all this rage on Shutan right now. And there it is. He tried to get a grab there, but it looks like that pivot grab worked out well in his favor. Getting the up throw with the blue. And now, Zachary, final stock here. First game, though. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Yep, you saw that. <laughs> All that block damage from the back, though, man. Behind the back. That's still No, yeah. getting the up smash to be able to get that punish after regular get-up attack. Optimal Looking stuff. Very even right now. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, if Zachary went for a grab, that wouldn't have worked out well for him. It would have allowed Shutan to potentially get more percentage. So I like that optimal punish with the up smash. Uh -oh. And here we keep it going uh -oh. here. Zachary. 52%. Keep in mind, Wolf can get that random down smash near the ledge, and right now he's keeping shoots on at the ledge. Oh my god. Yeah. And honestly, even near the edge, right? A forward air to a down air can be a threat. You see Zachary. Uh -oh. And, uh -oh. okay, this time uh -oh. he realized the DI from Shutan went for a backer instead. Alright, gonna do that up throw. Interesting, having Olimar in the air, not the position that Olimar wants to be in. Will Zachary go crazy and go off stage? Will he go crazy and go off stage? Whew. He's just ledge trapping right here. Nice parry, but doesn't get much off of it. The chase is on, spot dodges, and now he's in an inopportune position. I like the air dodge. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, it was very good air dodge. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Zachary is most likely going to go for the KO option now. So we might see an up smash, especially because Olimar is trying to approach from above. Ooh, Ooh good. Or that back air. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that down air right there from Shutan. Okay, Zachary wants to end the stock. Yeah, so watch out. He can cross over the dash attack, but if you, ooh, oh, he, went, ooh. He, he went way too hard. Whoa! Oh. Wait, wait. And that's the game. First match, Zachary. Again, making sure to get the utmost amount of horizontal distance right there, dude. Using that flash wolf, holding downwards. Man, I'm so I'm so impressed. Dude. Okay, all right. I thought he was that part of holding down. So so like, when you hold down, right? You just go like more like more straight instead of like going on a diagonal. You oh, hold okay, up, okay. you hold up, and he goes more up. When you hold down, he doesn't go as high. So it's oh. just more it, it's more horizontal when it comes to the flash wolf. 
So there might be times where if he's slightly in line with like the edge, he's able to just like side B hold down and not go above the edge so that he doesn't like get caught with like an attack on stage. So good stuff right there. Very, very, very impressed by that game. Cause honestly, I thought it was Shutons. Yep. Here we go, guys. Props to Japan again, by the way, because like in Umabora, I know Cosmos, who a lot of people would also consider top five, top ten in the world, yep. was seventh place. But all these players are missing from that tournament. So yeah. like that's that's shocking. And right now, again, winners finals, all Japan right here. Oh wow, and I was surprised he missed that grab, I guess, like he just passed his opponent in any event. Okay, getting rid of the white, understands. And he doesn't want to get hit with that damage. And it's very smart. Mixing up his recovery. You don't want to always immediate panic side B. Sometimes having going for the Firewolf. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but my brain was like, Firewolf. what is it called again? Because there's like, <laughs> I don't, see, I no don't see any fight. Yes. He didn't even say fire. <laughs> he goes, <"Rar." laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> All but, the time, but shoots on. Nice F smash getting that near the ledge. See if Zachary can get his own down smash coming out soon. Or the back air. Clean. So That's smart. the thing about Olimar. Olimar, like, this is the thing where Olimar likes to just, like, fade away or, like, just drift away. And I feel like Zachary saw through that and was able to get that back air. Wow. And the fact that Shutan was able to get through all those landing traps but still took a little bit of damage. Here comes his jabs. Ooh. Read the spot dodge and got that up smash for it. Very, very smart. A lot of people would expect to see double jab into another double jab or into yeah. a grab. And he's mixing it up where he'll double jab and then just wait a bit. Wait for the spot dodge coming up from Zachary and then do something. Fantastic. It's, it's such high level high rock paper scissors that we're seeing here. The laser recovery a little bit low. And now here's a chase. Get some shield damage and you see Zachary instead of holding shield. Does only get shield trap or stabbed rather. Shield broken or stabbed. He decides to be aggressive. Here we go. Wow, and shoots on again, having to recover high against pretty much everyone because they're always waiting for that drop zone attack. Oh my god. I like the fact that he reflected the purple, understanding that it will knock him backward. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, Shutan already had insurance. Okay. Shoots on with that, or Zachary with that F tilt to get him off stage. Zachary, even though he'll lose the stock first, yeah. he always is like basically right there, or one smash attack away from getting the next stock. Speaking of smash attacks, it looks like a lot of the smash attacks from Zach Ray are not quite connecting. You know, he's at a tough, there it is again, having a tough time being able to close out the stock. We have Shutan, there it is. He gets the opportunity here, but 75.5%. He doesn't want to get knocked off stage here in this situation. Yeah, right now it looks like his aerials or his smash attacks from Zachary aren't getting the KOs. It's mainly his aerials. Shutan's just sitting there blocking whenever he gets back on the ground. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, nice. He doesn't want to commit too hard. Looking for forward air. Okay, uh -oh. I like the dash attack. Oh my goodness. He's occupying so much space here. He's And all that damage. Wait. Looking okay. for that down smash already. Don't grab the ledge twice. You know what's going to happen. Oh, he goes so high. Okay. Good Any spot. Cover? Yeah, and now Shutan a little bit more confident. Okay, forward. He knows he can't get the KO yet. Yeah, that was blue Pikmin, but he can't get the KO. That was so very sneaky. nice. He knew. Again, this is the second time he did it in this set. None yeah. of us saw it coming. Forward. Uh-oh. Down smash. Oh, oh my god! From the other really? side of the stage. Zach Ray. What percent was that? 89. It was 89%. Oh. 89% down smash on the left side, KOing to the right. Dog, I didn't see that. I, I, when I saw the fact that the first swipe missed, I was just like, all right, so let's see what Shuton's going to do here, you know? Trying to yeah. assess the situation, understand what, what exactly is going to be the play. And the fact that the second part of the down smash connected, getting rid of that stock. Now, Zach Ray, I'm going to be honest with you guys on Twitter. Y'all might have been on, y'all might have been right. <laughs> y'all might have been right, man. You know what's funny? I have no issue with it. I don't mind. I think it's funny. I think he needs his, he needs his opportunity to finally shine. Yeah. I don't think people were putting enough respect on Zach Ray's name. They know he could do it. But he's been, he hasn't been getting the W's, like, stateside. Yeah, stateside-wise, he's, like, been getting a couple good wins. I know he's taking, like, sets off light, etc. Yeah. Um, but, you know, not, not the best type of thing, especially somebody who goes to Japan and wins, like, five tournaments in a row. They're coming out to America and getting, like, fifth or 17th. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping for, you know, some straight wins coming out here. This might be his chance. But how did down smash kill at 89% from the left side of the stage? I know he had a lot of rage, but still. Oh. Okay. okay. All right now. There's the up smash again, and it scoops people up from the left and the right side, which makes it really tough for people to like to avoid the threat of a grab by crossing up with the pressure, you know? Mm -hmm. So good. And you don't have to avoid jump squat. You avoid jump squat frames too. You just go straight up into your up smash in this game, and it helps people out of shield so well. Okay, here it is. Well timed blocks, and you see this time Zachary up respecting the out of shield, like the, the fares, the back airs from Shuton. Yeah, he's doing a lot better to avoid it. And wow, good. 
that's the thing. God. That's the thing about when Chutan's fighting against the players from his own region. Yeah. Whenever they he down airs them, they seem to always tech people from exactly. over here. They do not tech. They just get spiked. But these players, they are ready for it. They fought enough Olimars over there. Oh. 48% was that three hits? That's what makes it hard against Shutan, dude. Especially, what? like, look at Wolf, too, right? The kind of faller that he is. It makes it easier for him to combo, too. But Olimar, we've seen him be able to combo the best of them. Nice fade back by Shutan. Doesn't want to fall into the forward smash. Okay. He's an experienced player. Oh, and the double the jump. jump is gone. Wow. He, he used his air dodge to try to, try to give him a little bit of a boost. Yeah, it actually really almost helped out doing that air dodge into the stage. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Zachary keeps looking for these early KOs, trying to go for those X smash reads, and there goes one! Actually getting his only one stock away from being able to win winners finals now. Ooh, the down throw, ooh, 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 he got the one more stock chance. Hawk. And right there, you saw the double jump. Zachary was trying to see if he can just catch a forward air off of a whiff from Zachary, either a spot dodge or an up smash. Okay. And good jump right there. Doesn't want to land it to give a free tech chase. I like that by Shuton. Yeah, right now we see Zachary using a lot of Tomahawks and trying to go for these grabs a bunch, hoping that Shutan will be scared. One thing we're seeing too is both of these guys battling for center stage. Uh-oh, double jab, double jab into almost an F smash at the ledge of Purple Pikmin. Yes. That could have been it. Okay, again, center stage. This is mighty important, especially on a stage as small as Smashville. If you look at it, man, that center stage helps out a lot. It's a big boon to a lot of players. Okay. Looking for that down smash coming out from Wolf. I feel like he can KO from any side of stage at this point. Okay, and going. tries to go for the fourth throw, but you saw the DI right there by Shuton. He oh, was a little it. bit too high. That's, that's free. Oh, he, wait, oh, what? Yeah, what? He's still able to come back. Maybe we were wrong. Nice drift. That yeah, was a really good angle. Right now, only one purple Pikmin. What is this? And technique? wait, wait. Double jumps. Still has the air dodge. Okay. Zachary with the technique of just having one wait, purple wait. Down smash. Okay, when I saw that air dodge, I thought we were going to see a down smash. Yeah. Going crazy off stage, neutral air. And who that trap situation is now. One, two, three. Doesn't go for the up smash, Kotaro. Gonna go off stage and do neutral air. Oh yes, my god, Zach Gray makes it into the winner's side of Grand Finals here at Prime Saga. Congratulations, man. You've earned it. Zach Gray has been on a roll recently, just winning everything. Uh oh. <laughs> He's like, cheer for me, guys. <laughs>